If n is a positive integer, what is the tens digit of n? Statement number one tells us that the hundreds digit of 10n is 6. So let's think about this for a second. Let's say that n is a four digit number and it has the digits a, b, c, and d. And so what we want to know is the tens digit, which is c. When we multiply this number by 10, what we're doing is all the digits just move over a place and you get a zero in the ones digit. And in particular, if they're telling us that the hundreds digit of 10n is six, well, the hundreds digit of 10n has to equal the tens digit of n. So the tens digit of n would have to be six. So this statement by itself is completely sufficient to answer the question. Now forget about that. Focus on statement number two. Statement number two says that if we look at n plus one, then what we get is a tens digit of seven. So we have a, b, seven, d. And the trouble is, when we add one, of course that changes the unit digit, but we don't know what happens to the tens digit. And this is why. Suppose n is 600, 6,584. Well then, if we add one, 6,585, we'd get a number with the same tens digit. But if it were 6,589, when we added one, we'd get 6590, and we'd get a different tens digit. When the unit's digit is one, adding one changes the tens digit because you carry the one. And because we don't know anything about the unit digit, it might be 9, it might not be 9, we don't know. So we don't know whether or not adding 1 will change the tens digit and whether the tens digit of 7 actually is the tens digit of n or whether n had a tens digit of 6 and then we carried the 1 to make 7. So this statement by itself is insufficient. There's ambiguity that we cannot resolve. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is not sufficient. Answer choice A.